determining the cause and origin. Couldn't tell whether it started outside of an RV trailer or inside and burned out. Um, and right now, that's what they are determining um, right now. Upon our arrival, it had outside property, um, a pile of stuff, unrecognizable at this time right now. Um, and they'll find out what it was. It was burning fences, backyards, or trees. And the RV and trailer. The, the RV trailer was burned all the way through here. and burning into okay. the garage on our arrival. But no, no so damage to any residential like property. Smoke no, the house, the house is in fine shape. Products inside Great. of the trailer that we're burning. Okay. How'd the call first come out? Uh, structure fire in the area of Alvin and Oakley. And then upon responding, we got the address clarified. PD was on scene. They cleared the house, made sure no one was inside or of that main house. The garage that caught fire was detached from the house, which is a, that's a good safety thing, but you know, still you hate to see anybody's personal property burn. So that was. Was anyone living in the RV or was it? <laughs> no, the RV was parked there. They were getting ready for their, I believe, holiday vacation coming up. Uh, how everybody goes and camps on Thanksgiving and stuff. Is, that sucks. <laughs> that's the tentative um, information that we received okay. right off the bat. Okay. Okay. So it Can wasn't you... being lived in. Can you tell us who you are? I'm Thomas Craig's Battalion Chief, Santa Maria City Fire. Awesome. And um, call time and control time, do you have that yet? Yeah, call time was 12.40 and it took about 10 minutes to come, bring under control. Okay, and so do you know the size of the garage? It's a single car garage okay. and it was basically empty. It burned in, burned up some of the rafters. The guy had some motorcycles and personal property in it, but it, <coughs> it didn't have a car or anything. Okay. Had a couple of motorcycles. Um, Wait, was the RV in the motorcycle? No. In the garage? No, the RV was on the outside. Oh, the garage. wow. So okay. it's a camping trailer. Okay. Style oh. RV, a bumper pool. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Santa Maria's busy. Yeah. There's four calls since this has been going on. Oh, wow. Santa Maria is never dull. Yeah. <laughs> very true, very true. You said investigators have been called? Yeah, they're on scene actually. Uh, our uh, prevention inv and investigator, uh, Daryl Gatto, is investigating it right now. He's taking pictures and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Uh, to the Norma's home, we evacuated. Okay. I don't know. I didn't go in and take a look because okay. there was still too much smoke. When, yeah. uh, gotcha. We evacuated the neighbors at, at first and stuff like that for their precaution and the smoke. That black smoke is nasty and you don't want to breathe it. Right, right. right. Uh, everybody's back in their own residence now. Great. All the evacuated, evacuees have been able to go back to their house and stuff like that. So. Great. And it looks like the garage is... <laughs> the garage, you can't even see it from okay. here. That's okay. a neighbor's property okay. looking this way. So. Dave, I mean, this is especially it's kind of windy today. I mean, it right. was a safe for you guys. It was. It was actually a major save because it did get into the tree. Yeah. And then you can see it burned oh, wow. up the trees yeah. and stuff. PD took precaution and we're starting to evacuate people downwind to keep, to keep, and once we got water on it, knockdown was really quick, so that was able to shrink that right back real fast. Cool. All right, anything else?